Next, we're going to hear from Brenda Morris, also candidate for District 13. Thank you very much. It's great to be back here again. I had um, the opportunity to speak to you uh, prior to the primary, and it was a great opportunity for me because, as most of you know, I have never run for an elected office before. Um, I am a 27-year resident of unincorporated Plainfield. I have been married for 33 years. I have two grown daughters, one is 19 and one is 23. I do, um, I have, excuse me, I do own a small business. It's a horse boarding facility. I like to call myself a waste management specialist, <laughs> but I think you can all figure out what that is, and yes, that is what I do day in, day out. Prior to that, I worked for AT&T. I got my associates in science degree, computer science from College of DuPage, and I, as a wireless technical support engineer for 25 years um, before we purchased our business. I do want to make sure that you understand I am running here because I believe that my job is to advocate for you. And I've had some experience advocating for people in the last few years, mainly for my daughter. I had to advocate for her with the school district which is not an easy task. They do not make it easy for you to go in and try to discuss anything with them. You have to be prepared, you have to do your homework, and you have to speak their language. They have their own kind of a language when you go in there. But I learned, I found the information that I needed to find, I got additional resources to go with me, and I was very successful in getting her what she needed to be to be able to graduate with her class and not be left behind. And I believe that that is what my biggest asset is to you, is to be able to advocate for you. And that is my job as a county board member. This morning we were at the Carillon, and I paid attention last time to what they said. They are very concerned about the I-55 Weber interchange that is going up, and we all should be. I think it's great that we have that as a capital improvement project, but I also believe that part of that is making sure that that project actually takes place. We don't need to have delays. We don't need to not get it done because we've been waiting long enough for it, and we all need that. I am lucky enough not to have to travel that way, but I know for you who do have to travel that way, it's important that we can get to where we need to go. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Another thing, this came up this morning, and I do want to address this. Um, with a capital project, with a bonding that took place, I want you to know that your tax dollars were not raised for that. Mr. Tolman is correct. If we're going to raise your tax dollars, we do need to bring it to you, and we do need to ask you. But there were no tax dollars that were raised for that. They looked at all their revenue that was coming in, and they found places to get that money so that we could make this capital project take place. So please make sure that you understand that. And I know three minutes is not a lot of time, but I did want to make sure you knew that. Again, my name is Brenda Morris. I'm running for Will County Board here in District 13, and I would appreciate your vote. <laughs> Question for Brenda. 